So in this example, we're going to look at plots again. We're going to make it a little bit more complicated. We're going to look at how to put multiple plots into a single figure. So this is what we did just a minute ago. We had a single figure with a single curve in it. Now we're going to have a single figure. This one that we're going to start with is blank, and we're going to put two different signals in. If you remember just a minute ago, we actually defined two signals. We defined signal X, which was a sinusoid with a frequency of 5 hertz, and signal Y, which was a sinusoid or a cosine with a frequency of 2.5 hertz. And we're going to plot both of those in this single figure. The key to doing that is this command right here. In MATLAB, you have to say hold on. Basically, that tells the figure to keep accumulating plots into the same figure. Without that, every time you issue a plot command, one just replaces the other. Maybe I'll go ahead and show you that first. Let's go to figure two. If I evaluate this, this obviously just plots the sinusoid. And then if I do this, this just plots the next cosine. And we don't see the black curve, all we see is the red curve, because subsequent plot commands without a hold on just replace each other, so they're both not there. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, start up a blank figure again, and then we'll issue the hold on command. This first command, just like before, is going to plot the sinusoid with a line color of black and line width of 2, and then when I step across this line, that will plot in the same figure now, on top of the other plot, the cosine with color red, also of line width 2. And you can tell that this is a slower frequency sinusoid because it oscillates slower than the black curve. So really that, that's all there is to getting multiple plots into a single figure like this. The key is use the hold on command. Sometimes one thing that's nice to do though when you're working with multiple plots in a single figure is to use a legend command to distinguish them. So the rest of these commands are things that we've already seen in that first example we did just a minute ago, turning on the grid, setting the axis to have you know bigger text and bold text, labeling the x-axis, labeling the y-axis, and then giving it a title. This one was two sinusoids, so I said two sinusoids. Limiting how zoomed in we are on the x-axis and the y-axis. And then this command right here is new, legend, x comma y. I'll go ahead and step, we'll see what that does. And what that did is it put this little box in the figure called the legend, and it tells us which each of these signals are. It tells us that the black line is the signal X, and the red line is the signal Y, and the way you do a legend is just with this command right here. You give legend, and then you give a string, comma, string, and then you can put as many of these as you want. You can do X, comma, Y, comma, Z, and you could put any text here you want. You can call this first plot, second plot. And if we evaluate that, that's what the legend looks like. So it's up to you to put the right things in there, but it lets you distinguish what these different plots are in the figure. And sometimes the plot is not in quite the right spot, so you can go here to the arrow and drag it around and kind of place it where you would like. Uh, another thing that you can do, instead of doing that manually, is you can use the location option for legend. So let's look at legend and there's actually a location option, and you can give it the option best. So if you do that, so we're, as our last argument, we're gonna say set the location of the legend to the best option as far as MATLAB can figure it out. If we come back here, that is where MATLAB thought the best spot for the legend was, thought that was the least intrusive, and it probably is. At least this way we can see the tops of the curves and thing, and we're not missing a ton. For other plots where you might have uh, you know, more white space, maybe there's a region of white space here, MATLAB would figure out that that's the best spot for the legend. So sometimes that location best flag is a very useful thing when you're using legends.